Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. In today's video, I will show you how to make this rich, deeply moisturizing water in oil emulsion with Olivem 900 as the sole emulsifier. Here are the ingredients used in this recipe. I am preparing a batch of 100 grams. I will leave the links to where I bought the ingredients in the description box below. To prepare this water in oil moisturizing cream, we start with the oil phase. For this, we need a glass beaker or a heat resistant container. I pour my squalene in the glass beaker. Olivem 900 is an emulsifier that prefers non-polar oils, of which there are not many. All vegetable carrier oils are polar, but we can still use them in this recipe. However, your emulsion may benefit from a small amount of non-polar oil, such as squalene. Squalene is an excellent emollient. It protects the skin from moisture loss, makes it soft and supple, and improves the structure of the natural lipid barrier. Due to its excellent penetration properties, squalene is used, among other things, as a carrier for active ingredients. It is fast absorbing, oxidation stable, and non irritating. I add in the camellia seed oil. Camellia seed oil has antioxidant, anti inflammatory, and antimicrobial effect on the skin. It is generally suitable for most skin types, unless you are allergic. The remarkable composition of camellia seed oil gives it a strong antioxidant effect and a high moisture content so it can be used as an emollient for dry skin. This oil helps prevent and smooth wrinkles and stretch marks. It penetrates the skin quickly without leaving a greasy feeling. I add in the shea butter. I am using refined shea butter for this recipe. Shea butter is rich in vitamins A, E and F. Its moisturizing and anti-inflammatory properties make it a common solution to skin problems such as dryness dark spots, discoloration, stretch marks, and blemishes. I decided to use refined shea butter for this recipe because it gives lotions and creams a smooth texture and the smell is less strong than that of unrefined shea butter. Of course, you can use unrefined shea butter if that's what you prefer. I add the blueberry seed oil. This blueberry seed oil, with its unusual color, is what gave my body cream a slightly pastel greenish color. Blueberry seed oil has antioxidant properties. It is a rich source of tocopherols, carotenoids, and natural antioxidants. It reduces signs of aging, improves skin tone, fights acne, moisturizes dry skin, helps to prevent premature aging, reduces the appearance of pores, has anti-inflammatory properties and helps to restore the skin's natural barrier. I add in the Olivem 900. Olivem 900 is a non-ionic water in oil emulsifier that can be used both as a co-emulsifier and as a sole emulsifier. It is a good alternative to lanolin and is also easier to use than lanolin. This emulsifier adds moisturizing properties to cosmetics. It is so gentle that it can be used on even the most sensitive skin. Body creams and body lotions made with Olivem 900 are soft and smooth and are absorbed quickly into the skin. I keep the beaker aside and prepare the water phase. For the water phase, we also need a glass beaker or a heat resistant container. I pour the distilled water into the beaker. If you look at the measurement of my ingredients used in this recipe, you will have noticed that the oil phase is very high. This is because water in oil emulsions usually require more oil than water. So when formulating water in oil emulsions, it is advisable to choose oils that feel light on the skin. I add the vegetable glycerin to the distilled water. Vegetable glycerin is a popular skincare product due to its moisturizing effect. In this recipe, it serves as a humectant and an emollient. The next ingredient I add to the water is Epsom salt, also known as magnesium sulfate. The one major challenge many of us face when formulating water in oil emulsions 
is the stability of the emulsion. Here is an example of a water in oil emulsion that I prepared without Epsom salt. As you can see, the emulsion is not stable. It separated two days after preparation. Another reason was that I mixed it with a normal electric hand mixer. But we will be talking about that later in this tutorial. The addition of Epsom salt or simple table salt helps stabilize water in oil emulsions. An oil in water emulsion may need to be stabilized with xanthan gum if necessary, but this is not the case with a water in oil emulsion. Epsom salt or simple table salt is one of the most effective and common ingredients for the stability of water in oil emulsions. In addition to being a viscosity control agent in formulations, Epsom salt has anti-inflammatory effect on the skin, it helps to dry out acne, moisturizes dry skin, eliminates dark spots, and gives the skin a supple and smooth appearance. After mixing in the salt, test the pH value of the water face and make adjustments if necessary. The ideal pH value is around 5 and 5.5. To have an accurate pH result, please use a digital pH meter. As you can see, the pH value is around 5.5, which is perfect. It is important to measure the pH value at this stage because only watery solutions have pH value. Since water in oil emulsions contain oil in the outer face, when you dip a pH meter into a water in oil emulsion, the pH meter will only come in contact with the oil, resulting in a meaningless measurement because oils have no pH. If you try to mix a water in oil emulsion with distilled water to test the pH value, mixing them together is almost not possible, as you can see here on the left side, which is quite the opposite when mixing an oil in water emulsion, shown here on the right side. So please, when preparing a water in oil emulsion, always test and adjust the pH of the water phase before you start mixing both faces. After testing the pH value and making adjustments if it was necessary, place both beakers in a water bath and heat on medium heat to about 70 to 75 degrees Celsius using the double boil method. I mix so that the heat is evenly distributed. When both faces are ready, remove the beakers from the water bath before I start mixing. I once again quickly check the pH value of the water phase to show you that the pH value has remained the same even after heating the water phase. As you can see, it is still around 5.5. I remove the beaker containing the oil phase from the water bath. Then using a pipette, I take the water bit by bit and add it to the oil phase while mixing the oil using a stick blender. To form a stable water in oil emulsion, a high level of mixing is required. So please do not mix by hand or with an electric hand mixer, for this will not be enough. Make sure to use a stick blender, else your emulsion will not be stable at the end. Olivem 900 must be mixed thoroughly, so please mix well as you add the water to the oil bit by bit. After adding about half of the water to the oil, I check the temperature to make sure that it is about 40 degrees Celsius. At around 40 degrees Celsius, I add my heat sensitive ingredients. First, the vitamin E, then the preservative. As you may have noticed, I added both ingredients to the oil phase. I mix for some few seconds. After mixing in the vitamin E and the preservative, I continue to add the water to the oil bit by bit as I mix. After adding in the last drop of water, I mix for about 4-5 to five minutes again for the stability of the cream and to achieve the right consistency. Guys, look how beautiful the color is. It comes from the blueberry seed oil. I did not add any perfume oil to the cream because this blueberry seed oil has a strong and pleasant scent. 
because of the high melting temperature of olivium 900, which is around 70 degrees Celsius, you need to check your oils and butters for heat sensitivity. Some oils can be affected by high heat, so be careful which oils you choose to use. Most emulsions offered on the skincare market, such as body lotions, hand creams, and facial moisturizers are all oil in water emulsions. In these emulsions, the oil droplets are dispersed in a water phase. What we have just prepared, which is a water in oil emulsion, is less common. And in this water in oil emulsion, water droplets are dispersed in the oil phase. After the emulsion has been well mixed and cooled to room temperature, it can be filled into a clean sterilized container. This emulsion has a high content of oils. It is exceptionally rich and absorbs slowly. It has a silky and ultra light feel. You only need a very small amount to apply it to the skin. It is highly recommended for people with dry and combination skin. Although in winter when the air is drier, it can be used by all skin types. It will also work perfectly as a hand cream. The final consistency of this emulsion is reached after 24 hours. We will come back in 24 hours and see how it looks like. It has been 7 days since I made this cream. And this is how it looks like. The consistency is perfect and the emulsion is stable. I am hoping that you guys will try this formula out. I promise you, you will love it. It feels so different from all in water emulsions. After using it, it gives the skin a soft, smooth and luxurious feel. I will leave the links to where I bought the ingredient in the description box below. Guys, look how well it spreads on the skin. Although the percentage of oils in this formula is very high, after using it, the skin does not feel greasy at all. I am addicted to this cream. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching and also for watching till the end. Please do not forget to give the video a like, leave a comment, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your continued love and support. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye and God bless you.